The Snapdragon 7 Gen 3 is the hot new debate. I mean, the moment the OnePlus Nord C4 arrived, part by the Snapdragon 7 Gen 3, I saw the benchmarks and it was pretty clear that we finally have a capable Snapdragon chipset in the mid-range. But the question is, is it the best under 25K? How does it compare to MediaTek? Well, these questions led me to test the 7 Gen 3 in this phone extensively. And by extensively, I mean hours of CPU throttling tests, multiple benchmark tests, AI tests, extreme gaming tests. And that means a lot of heat. First, let's get the key specs out of the way. So this is built on the 4 nanometer TSMC process, which is known for its efficiency. And this has the OnePlus 3 plus 4 core configuration with four performance cores, four efficiency cores, and a max clock speed of up to 2.6 gigahertz. Now, all of these specs mean that the Snapdragon 7 Gen 3 brings 15% faster performance and 20% better efficiency compared to 7 Gen 1. The Jeep is also upgraded. It's the Adreno 720 with Snapdragon Elite gaming features. And Adreno 720 is a big upgrade over the Adreno 644 on the 7 Gen 1. And just to make it clear, this is also better than the 7S Gen 2. Now this obviously goes against the MediaTek Dimensity 7200 Pro on the Nothing Phone 2A and specs wise the Snapdragon 7 Gen 3 is better. It's got more performance cores, it has a faster GPU and all of this shows in the benchmarks. The 7 Gen 3 easily beats the 7200. You can see the difference in the CPU and the GPU score in Antutu. 2. You can see the difference in Geekbench. Same with 3D Mark and what's impressive is that the 7 Gen 3 scores higher than the 7200 while maintaining a 99% stability. That is pretty good. Now AI is the next big I mean, Google has integrated the Gemini Nano AI model into Android. It's also opened up Gemini to app developers. So we'll be seeing a lot more AI features in our phones and that leads me to test the AI performance. See, the Snapdragon 7 Gen 3 brings Qualcomm's AI engine and I ran an AI benchmark on the Nord C4 and the Nothing Phone 2A and it's crazy how massive the difference is in the AI performance. The Snapdragon 7 Gen 3 is way ahead here compared to the Dimensity 7200 and honestly, I wasn't expecting this. Now, this is great, but I wanted to see how the performance is when put under stress and what surprised me is that the more extensive the test, you'd expect the performance to degrade, right? Well, something else happened. I mean, the 15-minute CPU throttling test shows that there is some minor throttling, but it's still a pretty good score. Now, I know even the MediaTek Dimensity 7200 does well in the CPU throttling test, but you can see that the performance numbers on the 7 Gen 3 are just way higher. And anyway, I pushed things further and the 30 minute CPU throttling test was surprising. I set the threads to 50 and the throttling score this time around was better than what I got on the 15 minute test. The temperature was also in the normal range around 40 and even less than 40. Now you guessed it, I pushed a little more. See, I ran Antutu to five times on the trot to see the throttling and this is the Antutu score in the first run and this is the Antutu score in the fifth run. Yeah, there is a drop in score, but it's nothing drastic. I mean, Antutu is crazy intensive and I've seen phones crash after like the second test, get overheating problems, but the 7 Gen 3 handles them without any overheating or major throttling, which is good. Next up, I played some long gaming sessions on two intensive games. I played BGMI and I played Genshin Impact, both really intensive games. And I know Warzone is also here, but I've seen some reports of inconsistencies and bugs in Android. So yeah, I stuck to BGMI and Genshin. Now, one thing to note, BGMI on the 7 Gen 3 supports Ultra HD graphics with ultra frame rates. In comparison, the Dimensity 7200 on the 2A supports HDR Ultra at best. Anyway, I played BGMI at 60 FPS for an hour and the gameplay is smooth the nice and after an hour or so i checked the temperature and it was in the normal range i also played genshin impact for an hour and this is at medium graphics fps set to 60 and i've been playing this a lot even off camera and you know how intensive this game can be and after an hour the gameplay is really good there's no major heating it's all under control now these extreme tests surpass snapdragon chipsets are known for their great isp and this has the spectra triple isp which captures three photos at once and blends them in real time for more detail and better exposure also the 7 gen 3 is the first 7 series chipset to bring ai remoziac which uses machine learning to capture sharper and more high-res photos. There's also AI denoising which removes noise from low-light shots. And you know what, I've been taking a lot of photos from the Nord C4 and almost all the photos are sharp, detailed and have good colors. I mean, I compared the photos on the Nord C4 versus Nothing Phone 2A and I found the photos from the Nord C4 better detail-wise and also in terms of colors. So the Sony LYT600 sensor combined with this ISP is resulting in good photos. Now the stability in videos could have been better but the photos are definitely good. The 7 Gen 3 also has the battery health engine which extends battery cycle to ensure at least four years of peak battery capacity, aka over 80%. 7 Gen 3 also powers features like smart rapid charging with boost charging speed when you need to charge your phone really quickly. There's also smart charging which learns your charging habits and adjusts charging speeds accordingly. And there's also an option to stop charging at 80% to improve battery health. Look, when the OnePlus Nord C4 launched, I obviously checked the benchmarks, they were good. But after using this phone as my daily driver doing these extensive tests, I can tell you that Oxygen OS has its quirks, but the performance here is 
solid and consistent. I mean, apart from all of these tests, the performance in day-to-day -day usage is very good. There's also no heating when using the phone while charging or even running Android Auto in the car. I mean, the Snapdragon 7 Gen 3 seems like the chipset to beat under 25K. It's clearly better than the MediaTek Dimensity 7200. Now, I know there are more powerful chipsets if you go above 25K, but if you value solid, consistent performance with no issues, this is actually great. I mean, this reminds me of the older 7 Series chipsets. Remember the good old 778G? Anyway, if you still have any more questions on the 7 Gen 3, comment down below and try to answer them. And if you want to know more on the OnePlus Nord C4, you can click the card here and check out our video on the OnePlus Nord C4. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.